Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a little video about the paint puck. So this is a new product I found for painting and I think it can be applied to miniature paints and that's certainly what I am aiming to do. And this is to help clean your brush. This has just arrived, so I've not used it at all. I just want to show you when it was brand new because this is this is all I've got. Uh, quite a little disclaimer, these were sent to me for semi-free. I had to pay the import taxes, which were about half the price of the product. So not entirely free, but you know, the in theory they were supposed to be. So just a disclaimer there, uh, let you know that. But I wanted to show you while it was brand new. So this is the large size, and I think they've just brought out this mini version here. So this is this is how they arrive, brand new. Uh, they shouldn't have come with a rip, but this is what happens if you have a toddler who sees a bright, colorful, toy-like object, and then you tell her it's not for her. There might be a little bit of back and forth about that, and things might get damaged. <laughs> so, sorry it's not pristine, but you can imagine it's just a piece of card with these guys on it. Now, what these are, they are little things that you can wipe your brush across, and it's supposed to clean it, a lot faster, a lot easier. It mentions saving water, not damaging your brush as much. I don't know if anybody struggles to clean their brush. I just, if I, I get my brush and I'm so gentle with it, I put it in the in the water pot and I just sort of swish it like this. I try not to rub it at all and just bash it back and forth. And it takes ages and then I have to wipe it and then go again and again and again. Don't know what you guys do if you do anything better. I'm now painting so much I need to speed that process up. So I started mashing it on the side of my my cup to get it clean and I do feel like it does damage my brushes so I was looking into these and spoke to the guys at Paint Puck and I've got a, a test run so I can find out a little bit more just wanted to show you before they come in with some seriously cool bright colors one thing I did notice is in the two packs the greens don't match if that matters to anybody and the oranges don't match either the rest look identical so what we'll be doing is we'll take my well my 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 water cup and we're going to plop one of these in here they are supposed to expand but it, as far as i could see it expands if you use um what was the word turpentine so these are allowed to soak indefinitely they will grow larger in cleaning solvents i'm just going to put water in i don't know if i'm supposed to use anything else i will look into it and find out more like i said i'm going to go away just record this video at the start so you can see what they look like brand new, nice and clean. And I've got no real opinions on how they work yet. So I'll go away for a few weeks and get used to using them, see if it feels any different to normal. But you pop them in there and they can soak indefinitely. So I'll be leaving mine in the bottom of my cup. And ta -da 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 -da, here's one I made earlier. Put some water in it. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Just while it goes underneath. And well. Yeah, I can certainly, that feels soft <laughs> to touch with a brush, so hopefully it does no no damage. And I can just feel the um, the ferrule is just hitting those prongs, and it, I imagine that's just going to knock paint off. Now, if I just put some paint on, I'm sure it's going to come off no matter what. So what I need to do is things like, what I'm finding is my dry brush. This might be a little bit difficult to see, but I'm really struggling to get the paint out. Once you know you've been dry brushing, it's gone up. It's pushed in and it's dry to begin with. And I mean, that's probably not going to come out anyway because that's been on there for weeks now. So that's not really going to clean it. But hopefully, I'm hoping, in theory, oh, it does actually feel a little bit softer already. <laughs> in theory, I'm hoping my brushes are just going to last that little bit longer and be a little bit easier to get the paint off quickly. Just wiggle it through there. So I'm going to be keeping an eye on, I'll be using some of my new brushes to make sure you know, I've got a nice point to begin with and keep an eye on those tips and see if I think they wear out any faster. Just see if the paint comes off quicker, if I can just give it a little jiggle. I think what I'm also going to do is get some of these. I should have done that before I put the water in. Uh, but I reckon I can put them like on the side. Yeah, that's stuck. Let's have some different colors so it looks good. Actually, I'm glad you get quite a few in a pack. So you get five in a pack. I think you can buy them individually as well, but I use I use two waters when I'm painting. I don't know if you all do, um, but I've got a sort of clean one and a dirty one. Uh, so I'd like them in both anyway. Yeah, that's quite cool. So you can rub them sideways against that. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm happy with the setup. So far, so good. And, you know, I'll get back to you. I'll, I'll expand this video when I've got a bigger opinion. See you in a bit. So I started to gather a little bit of bigger opinion. I've started using this product and I wanted to 
take a field trip around my house and show you the paint puck that is quite dirty now although in the middle i've cleaned it fairly recently but you can see this metallic gold around the outside where i've been painting recently so i just wanted to quickly show you how you go about cleaning it. i'm just running some warm water here i'm just going to run it under the tap and rub it with my my hand my thumb hopefully you can see here it just come you know what did that take a couple of seconds straight away it's coming clean from a quick rub now this is a silicon based product so i think you could probably just stick this straight in the dishwasher you could certainly use some washing up liquid if you need a little bit of help i'm just doing this one-handed very very quickly on camera so i don't think this is the most thorough job you've ever seen but that that is not difficult it's coming straight off it's just difficult to get my fingers in between the nooks and crannies but i'll quickly you know apply two hands bit of elbow grease and let's see how i can get this clean quickly and there you go and that's pretty good right that was not a lot of time it took me about a minute to get it to this level there's some dirty bits but i'll finish it off off camera and it will take me about 30 seconds more that's just the cleaning process hopefully that is a decent insight for you right guys i just have one more thing i want to show before i do my review so i've got some hot orange paint and i will grab a just a cheap brush this is from uh, quick draw supplies i mentioned a lot they do a lot of cheap brushes which are great to own so i would recommend you guys have some cheap brushes for all sorts of things so i'm just going to try and mash some of this paint into the brush a little bit just as they've been maybe painting for a bit dry brushing then i'm going to demonstrate how i used to do my wash my brush so it would literally just be rubbing it from side to side we'll do it sort of that long and then let's see if it's got all the paint off and you can see it hasn't and that was how i'd do it and then i'd go back and again swish it around a little bit you can see the the it is going orange it is removing the paint and i'm just always trying to be so careful i just that's probably why my brushes have lasted two years you know like you probably don't do this and this is probably not good enough to get them clean but i do this over and over and over and over and eventually it would be clean so maybe that's not the best technique but that is what it is <laughs> that's how i did it so let's just see if i can get it clean and this is what i was talking about at the start of the video this this obviously is worse and worse depending on the size of the brush and whether you're dry brushing or just painting obviously this cleans up infinitely faster with a small brush like i normally do and it's when i started painting larger models i really started to notice this is a chore i, I want to protect my brushes but at the same time i don't want to spend you know that's going to add up that's going to be 30 seconds a minute per color changing it around so let's get this just as dirty and then this time i'm going to push it not i'm not ramming it in the bottom but i'm just catching it on those those bits the bristles are going over the paint book so um, you know this isn't a controlled experiment i don't know how many times I, I swilled from side to side but can you see the difference so i've still been insanely gentle and now we're talking about that much paint left on the brush so let's do it again and what i'm actually doing is doing it a little bit rougher in real life and for a little bit longer and round and round and you can use these ones on the side as well stroke the brush through it and what i find is i spend about if it was this bad five to ten seconds doing that and it would have been completely clear and look it's now now good as new so two little goes and i honestly think you would have done that in one if i wasn't trying to be you know super gentle to try and prove <laughs> the difference between there hopefully you saw that and that is an interesting difference and it adds up you'd be surprised if you're painting 10 20 colors at a time and you can save 20 seconds it makes a difference you know especially if you you've got little time like i do every second counts right i'll be back in a mo for a review right guys i have been pucking around with this for about a month now so hopefully that's a long enough period of time to gather a reliable experience and give a review some actual meaning I, I dislike when i see a review of somebody using something for 10 minutes and have an opinion you know i've used this plenty now made done plenty of figures plenty of tutorials just want to start off by showing you if you've been watching the the channel you, you will have seen that i've been using this rosemary co 3 slash zero brush for nearly everything and i said that at the start of this product review i was going to try and use what use a brand new brush with a nice tip and you can see it's it's good as new that's, that's pretty much how it came and I, I i can definitely tell they're gentle with the brushes i'm happy with that i do think my brush has already lasted an almost infinite period of time but so for me it's not going to make a huge difference but i was so gentle with the washing now i can be quicker and more vigorous and i still think they'll last an insane amount of time with with this so i'm very very happy with its care on my brushes do i think it'll save time yes hopefully that previous demonstration can show you 
the difference it can make. And to, to me, it's a huge difference. Um, I've got so little time. I can't be spending minutes just cleaning my brush between each color. So I'm, I'm definitely happy it saves on time. I think it can save brushes. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't ever lose any brushes anyway, but I'm fairly confident it probably does that. This is, these are soft. These are, these do not, you know, they're not hard at all. They wibble very, very easily. My only concern would be that potentially before I was making sure I was very, very gentle, just tapping it against the sides. And now you sort of want to, I want to be catching the bristles just across it like that. But I could imagine accidentally, you know, mashing my brush into it, which would feel the same as just mashing it into the bottom of the, the paint pot. But if you're careful, which I have been so far, I'm just stroking it across, across these little nipples and these uh, ringlets here and it's getting my brush so so clean so quick i'm very very happy my dry brush seems like it's cleaner than it was before i started these tutorials then the last one it says save water um not sure about that how's it save water i still have water in my pot and it still goes dirty just as fast so i'm not confident with the saving water mentioning so save time save brushes not sure about saving water the colors very happy with the colors i think they're great now these tiny ones they they're useful i've got them on the side of my my pot and i do occasionally use them but they're more for oil painters these do expand to double the size so they go to about the same size as a normal one but when you put it in turpentine what you might use for oil painters i'm not sure let me know in the comments below if any of you are oil painters i expect we're all acrylic or miniature painters but it is useful for oil painters that these all go to the same size and you keep it in turpentine keep your brush clean that way so the only potential negative and i think this is a potential negative with any product ever made is, is the price right so if these were free it would be an absolute no-brainer i would be 100 percent recommending this to absolutely everyone now having said that i do think i am recommending this to everyone but it's going to come down to price these are seven dollars for one of these you can buy the big pack and it's $18.99, so $19. Works out at under $4 each. Now, would you need more than one? Possibly. I, I use two. I'm I'm glad I've got two. And then I've got Benson and Austin, and I can give one away. You know, like if you've got friends that all paint, you can do a group buy, or if you're feeling generous, you can give them away. And you can spend four dollars on this. Is what's that? A beer? Price of a beer. Would I prefer one beer or one of these? 100% one of these. These these are going to save me more time than the beer will make me forget. The little ones, I probably wouldn't buy them as well unless I was an oil painter. But if you're an oil painter, if you've got more money, I definitely, you know, it doesn't hurt having one of these on the side and, and cleaning it that way. So that's my only real negative. I think it, it's, it's entirely up to you as a consumer. Have you got $7 to spend on this? Um, if you do, get one. Uh, I think you will be very, very happy with it. And there's not that much that can help you paint it. Not many tools in the painting world that will actually help you. So it's nice to actually find something that is useful and just make you a little bit more efficient, a little bit faster. I think there's a slight issue that it's a little bit difficult to get hold of these in Europe. Um, be very careful with import tax. So buying a big set, I think at least both sets got me, got me with the import tax that now maybe just one big set might have been okay but definitely if i just bought two two of these i probably would have dodged input tax hopefully they will fix that and there'll be a european distributor at some point if you're in the us you've got no problem with that whatsoever i will leave a link to them in the description below so you guys can check that out i'm not affiliated anyway those links don't make me any money so don't think other, other than getting this product for, for free for myself which i still pay 15 dollars for um, i'm not going to make any money out of this so there's no hopefully that's just covering you there not thinking i'm trying to push this on to you in any way shape or form and hopefully that's everything so i'm going to carry on using these that's another thing you know i, I can recommend something i'm saying use this but i am going to be using this there's a 100 percent chance that this will be in my water pot every single day from now on and hopefully that just shows what i think of this product i'm definitely going to carry on using it thank you all very much for watching if you'd like to see some more sort of tools and reviews on painting products i've got quite a few recently because we've been discussing it on patreon so i've gone out i've bought some i've got got gifted some that sort of thing so i'm going to review that let me know in the comments below if you like these sorts of paint tools and helpers if you'd like to see some more reviews and, and what i think on those thank you all very much for watching